Hello and welcome to our channel. My name is Joko and in today's video we'll take a look at this 2024 579 Peterbilt. Let's jump right into it. First of all, I'd like to thank our friends here at JX Peterbilt in Bolingbrook, Illinois for lending us their time and one of their equipment for us to review. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description if you want to check it out. This particular model has the Epic Aero package, so let's see what that actually means. Also, we're very near to a interstate here, so that's why you might hear a lot of background noise from passing trucks and vehicles. Now let's start with the front of the truck. The first thing we notice at this particular model is a chromed out element. Starting from the top, we can see a chromed out wind deflector with the clearance lights on top, chromed out side mirrors, chromed out hood mirrors, aerodynamic hood, an updated and redesigned grille. We have LED headlights without LED uh, running lights. And we also have our steel bumper. Okay, so if we move to the driver's side of the vehicle, there is not many things that we noticed at first that may have changed from the older models. Although if you do drive a older model, maybe the first thing you notice is that we are missing a battery access door, but we'll get to that in a second. This cabin is the ultra loft cabin with an extended uh, sleeper which means it's the biggest cabin that Peterbilt currently offers. As you will see later on in the video, it has uh, double bunk beds. We'll take a look at those later. A few minor aerodynamic changes to make the vehicle more aerodynamic. We have a nice epic emblem here with the 579 engraved into it. Here we have an access door to your inside of the cabin, which is actually very useful when you're, you know, transporting goods or groceries into your truck. You also have an access to the lower compartment below the bunk bed here, which extends all the way through to the other side where there's also a door and you can access it from there as well. We'll get to that in a second. Kitabilt have added additional wind covers in order to reduce wind drag not only that they also added those wind deflectors at the bottom of the truck and the rubberized wind deflectors here in the back of the cabin along with the extended uh, deflectors of course in addition to that this particular model also comes with a wheel cap cover which not only improves a little bit on the aerodynamics of the vehicle but also greatly improves the looks of it so now let's talk about how you access your battery compartments. The new update is removing the door from here and adding two latches on the inside of the staircase. So what you do is with your fingers, you put your fingers inside and you push. And that will open that panel. And now you have access to your batteries. The same goes for the back panel. Keep in mind that you cannot open the back panel unless you open the front panel. So all you need to do is push and they open up like this. And now you have access to your fuel tank if, if needed, depth reservoir if needed, and your battery compartment. Also noteworthy to mention, front of the axle has disc brakes and the back has drum brakes. Now let's close these panels up and let's go to the back of the vehicle. Not much has changed when it comes to the back of the vehicle, but here are a few noteworthy things to mention. The drive axles have drum brakes. You have LED work lights here in the back of the cabin. Up there is your antenna, which is your radio antenna, but you also have an option to get those big antennas that you put on the side of the mirrors, uh, on, of your cabin mirrors. Uh, we have our glad hands. And if you wonder what these are, these are simply vents to equalize the pressure when you close your doors. These serve to actually depressurize the cabin so that when you close the doors, your ears don't pop because it's a very well sealed cabin. You have a 100 gallon fuel tank on this side and a 100 gallon fuel tank on the other side. And as I mentioned before, we can also see some of the other chromed out elements. You may have noticed that in this case, the exhaust lies right underneath the cabin and Peterbilt calls this a horizontal exhaust. Uh, it's a cheaper option but you also have the option to order one where your exhaust comes behind the cabin or as they call a vertical option. Moreover, on the passenger side of the vehicle, there is not much different than the driver's side, except we don't have a fully functioning door. On this side, you have a smaller opening that with your keys, you can open and access. Just put in the key. And now you have access through to the other side from this side as well. Like I said, the only downside is you do not have access to the bunk bed unless, of course, you lift the bunk bed. And you close it just by pushing the door. 
Just like the other side, we can pop the side covers to gain access on this side to our DPF system and on this side to our fuel tank. You have also access to the fuel tank even when, the, when this is closed and this is how your access is. It's fairly big, plenty spacious for you to fuel up. And the way Peterbilt differentiates itself from other brands is that they place actually their mirrors on the side panel here instead of placing them on the door so that when you open the door, the mirror stays stationary. Now let's pop the hood and see what's underneath there. In order to pop the hood, all you do is release it from this latch here, go from the front and pull gently and ease it in. Here's a few changes that Peterbilt have done to their engine compartment bay that you might not be aware of it that, or that you didn't know if you don't drive a Peterbilt. First things first, they moved their antifreeze uh, reservoir from the front on top of the radiator to the back. And secondly, they moved the windshield washer fluid reservoir from the back of the engine compartment towards the front so that, you know, for easier access. Now you might be wondering, wait a minute, since we have the coolant reservoir there, how do you actually put coolant? Good question. Let's go to the driver's side. This is your access for your coolant reservoir where you can refill antifreeze or coolant in case you need to. This is a Cummins CX-15 engine with 450 horsepower and 12-speed automatic transmission. Now, if you want to close the hood, you cannot just go ahead from the front and lift it up. You gotta prop this up and then you can go from the front and close it up. Let's jump inside and see some of the interior features that Peterbilt have updated. All right. Just like any other brand new model, it smells like a new truck in here. What I like about this truck particularly is the wood trim level finish here, uh, which comes standard with the premier trim level package as this truck comes. We also have very nice seats, as you can see. They're very comfortable. We have a completely redesigned dashboard at which we'll take a look in a minute. But what I appreciate in uh, newer model trucks is the electronic access and the electronic controls of the windows both driver and passenger. Obviously, we have electronic controls of the side mirrors on the side. We have heated mirrors, and we also have a electronic locking system, both on driver's side and on the passenger side. Now, let's take a look at the updated dashboard. Peterbilt have truly outdone themselves when it comes to updating the dashboard. Let's turn it on and see how it looks. As you turn the ignition key, all of your Warning lights will come up in the top. And as you can see, we have a fully digital 15 inch dashboard. We have no analog gauges whatsoever. The dashboard is fully customizable uh, as you can, you know, if you go through the menus, you can set up your favorites or you can go to the pre-assigned menus depending on whatever your style is. The center of the dashboard features your speedometer with the RPMs. And then the further out you go, you have your fuel gauges, you have your coolant temperature, you have your oil pressure, you have your air tank gauges here. And the further out you go, you can also customize. Like I said, you can customize these options so that they show different things. I will leave the truck turned on for now as we explore the inside. This truck comes with a wooden trim level, which you can see here on the outside it also has a carbon fiber feel to it now one thing that i have not seen in other trucks that you can see actually in this truck is a passenger workstation so you can pull this out so the passenger now has a fully functioning workstation like a small table to write eat on or whatever not only that but you also have a glove compartment which I have not seen in any other trucks, but 
have you seen anything like this? Let me know. We have our electronic locking system on the uh, passenger side as well. We'll start off with the passenger side. The way it works is you push that button, then you have this little thing that'll come out and then you just pull on it and you have a small storage compartment here, storage here, you have small storage here. I'm assuming this is for CB radio or yet another small storage compartment. This is a closed off storage compartment, which I believe uh, can be opened. We have storage up here. And then we also have for the driver, a storage compartment up here. To close them, all you do is close it up, push the button so it won't open. And there you go. Close it up, push the button. There you go. On both driver and passenger side, we have a reading light and we have a regular light as you can see this unit is plenty spacious it's actually the ultra loft extended cabin double bunk bed sleeper which means it's the biggest of the size they have you have an 80 inch height here in the back of the bed and now let's take a look at some of the storage that you and the features that you can find here in the back of the bunk up top you have a storage compartment for the top bed another storage compartment this storage compartment is for a microwave as you can see there is a strap here that you can tie down the microwave there is plenty of outlets all over this truck here you have your temperature control units this s bar is a heating control unit which is uh, right underneath uh, the bunk bed and it's only for heating not for cooling this unit here controls your like i said temperature so you don't have to go up to the front plenty of outlets this little compartment here is for i'm assuming food storage you close it pop this you have a small workstation or you can use it as a table to eat it also has a hidden compartment up down here so that you know as you see you can store some additional stuff you just push it in if you want to pull it out all you do is pull this out cup holders here here you have access to additional storage On the passenger side, you have access here to a fridge. The bottom also has a pull-out drawer for things if you wanna, you know, put them there. There is a cabinet here, slightly bigger cabinet with, you know, with a mirror, door pocket, and it's pretty tall. So if you wanna hang things, things up there, you can do that. You have storage up there. And obviously this is the second bunk. How do you set up the second bunk? Let's jump into that right now. Setting up the second bunk is very easy. All you do is pull on this. It unlocks it from both sides. And now if you don't want to jump up top and you know, hurt yourself, there's a latch here with the ladder. So it's this one right here. All you do is you pull that and the ladder comes down. And now you have a ladder to climb the top obviously the mattress comes up both windows can be adjusted open by turning twisting and turning the levers you have storage here you have storage here you have some power outlets here and you have a reading light here on this side which i'm assuming is that's where they want you to sleep and if you want to fold it again just lift the stairs and push it up as simple as that when it comes to the bottom bit all you do is pull on the lever underneath the bit and now you have access to the bottom here and if you remember from earlier when we were behind the truck when i said about those depressurizing vents those cutouts are for that purpose you can also access the side door from this side by simply opening it from here and closing it or you can lock it and unlock it you also have access to additional storage on this side of the bed as you see here some additional pockets 
and we also have LED headlights throughout the cabin. Again, I want to thank our friends here at JX Peterbilt in Bolingbrook, Illinois for lending us uh, one of their equipment. Link will be in the description down below for them. This is the end of our video. Subscribe if you haven't already. If you don't want to miss any future videos of truck uh, reviews or driver tips and tricks, hit the notification bell and I'll see you next time.